Hello and welcome to the first part of the um, multi-site search uh, PHP development script. Uh, if you haven't seen the introduction to this, I'd go check that out first just to see what the script does, but if not, then uh, thanks for joining. Um, right now, I have blanked out all of the pages of information, um, or PHP values minus right there, which I'll remove right now, and all that I have uh, left in is a HTML form right here, um, which I'm not going to code out because, well, it's just an input uh, text, a uh, select, and a submit button. Well, another select and then a submit button. So you can copy this out right now, or you can uh, watch the video and then code out what you think you would need. Um, but all the PHP is blank and same with init and in functions. URLs, like I said in the introduction, uh, gives you all of the URL information on or that you need rather to construct the search terms. So I will be referencing this to construct terms, but you don't need to know these, you just need to follow what I say. Anyways, let's get started. We're going to um, start in init.php. I believe that that would be the easiest starting point um, as it's two lines of coding and yeah. So, um, init.php, all this is going to include or all this is going to do in this situation is include the functions file and act as that sort of library file. Um, generally speaking, you start your session here or connect to your database or whatever, but in this um, case we only need to have um, the included file. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyways, First, we're going to do is specify a variable uh, path, which is equal to the dir name of underscore underscore file. What this does is it gets the full directory name to the current file, and so we're just defining a path so that we can include from here. So then we're going to go include, oh, spelling it right, include, and then within here. We're going to include the path, forward slash, if you remember, uh, the file we need is inc, forward slash, functions, dot inc, dot php. And so what this is going to do is include from the full file path, which is what this gets, um, then the inc folder, and then this file. And that's all we need to do here. So we can actually close this file. We're never going to be touching it again. Actually, we're going to make sure it works before we close it. So in here, we're just going to include, spelling it right, include um, core forward slash init dot php. And then we're going to, in functions dot php, we're just going to echo hi. And then we'll see if we get any syntax errors and are included or whatever. And then we can. Um, cancel on the recent, we'll just refresh it this way, and you see we get the high output, which means everything's including properly, which means that we're good to delete the high, we can close this file, and well, we're going to leave that included as we need it included. Okay, um, so from here we're going to move on to the function um, page. First thing we're going to do is lay out the skeleton of the functions that we need. We're only creating two um, functions and the first one is going to make the URL based on the um, search term and on these URL it's right here these URL structures so we're going to comment a little line and say makes the URL from search term and we're going to define that function using the function keyword and then as um, make underscore URL and the block of code 
this function is going to require two parameters um, the site that you're searching on and your search term so site and search so that's the first function the second function is going to be the method in which we display the URL so for instance if you're going to display it using an iframe it will generate the iframe based on the URL that you have made so um, display the URL from or with the given uh, with the given method we'll put it like that and then we'll say function display URL uh, this again is going to take two parameters the URL that you are searching on and the type and by type I mean um, like your method or if you're using um, the new browser or the um, current tab or whatever it's going to display in there so we're going to start up into uh, this function first in the make URL see how far we get this video it's been taking longer to record than I thought it should have, so I'm going to work a little bit fast here. So, the first thing we're going to do is protect ourselves from XSS injection and adding a plus sign for each space of the URL because in all the URLs you have to have a plus sign in between key terms. So, if you were searching for PHP tutorials, that's what you would type in, but the browser requires it to be PHP tutorials. Um, some do this on their own, but it's better practice to just add it in. And then it gives us a chance to talk about the string replace function. So, we're going to say that the search is equal to um, first HTML entities of um, search. What this does is it protects us from XSS injection. It makes your site more secure by changing anything that has um, it's a symbol in MySQL to an unharmful entity of it. So it changes something like um, that symbol to and GMT colon or something along those lines. I don't know the exact symbols, but and then this is processed by the browser and displays this symbol opposed to it having meaning when the page is processed. It adds security to the code. If I have a security video out when you're watching this, feel free to check it out. Then on top of that, as we said, we need to add the plus to the URL. So what we're going to do for that is um, the string replace function, the str replace. So put this in brackets and call str underscore replace. Now this takes three parameters, the first being the string that you are replacing. In our case, it is a space, so just a space within quotes. The next is what you want to replace it with. So in our case, again, it's going to be a plus sign. And then um, finally, what you're replacing it in, and we're replacing it in the HTML entities of the search. So that's that. Um, next thing we want to do is check to see if the search is empty. So we're going to say, actually, I'm going to check if the search is empty prior to doing that because if they enter a blank term or a single space, then it would replace the space with a plus sign and then the search would no longer be empty. But you really don't want people searching for an empty term. It just, it's a um, unneeded requests on your browser and if you're using iframes then it's requesting information from another server and it can get to messy so we're gonna actually check um, if empty spelled right search and um, bring this code block down and within here if the search is empty we want to return the function false we don't want to um, continue on with the function if there is no search term. If the function, or if it does not return, or if it's not empty rather, um, then we want to do this. So basically all this is done is um, if the search term is blank, if the search term is false, if the search term is null, if 
No, there's a number of things. If it's an empty array, um, that's what empty checks for. And so if that is true, the function will return false. And then after the function's returned a value, it no longer um, processes the rest. If it's not, then redo our protection line of code here. Um, the next thing that we need to do in this is perform a switch statement. So this is assuming that um, the search is not false. So what we're switching is um, the search term. I have a tutorial on switch statements, so check that out if you don't understand here. And so our switch statement is on the search term. No, our switch statement is on the site term, sorry. And what this is going to do is check each site that it can possibly be. Um, so we're going to have cases for each of the sites and then um, after that if uh, none of those return true or and then it'll build the URL and if none of them return true the function will again return false. So um, our first case is going to be Google as that is what um, if we go back to here, you can see that when it is Google, the value of it is Google. And then Google image, Bing, Bing image, Yahoo, Yahoo image, just to, uh, so I don't have to keep referencing back here. Um, so that's our first case. If this is true, then we want to construct the URL. And the URL is going to equal to a string, and that's where this comes in handy. What I did was just searched a Google search copied the URL, found the important piece of it, and then where the search term goes in it. And so the search term is at the end, so I need this entire part. You can do the same here, or you can just copy out this if you can read it. I'll actually post it in the description to save you guys some time. And so we're going to put that there. And then on the end, we're just going to tag on the search term. So this will become um, this URL with the search term, which is now has plus sign in the end, um, tagged on to the end where the search is proper, and then we're going to use our break. And then we're going to use this case um, for all six of the <coughs> sites that it can be. So I'm just going to copy it down six times to save us some time. Is that six? Oh well. Um, the next one is going to be Google Image and URLs. We'll go back to here. Copy the Google Image one. And these again will all be in the site. The process is the same for all of them. And all you're doing is constructing the URL from the base URL. So the next one we need is Bing. Just the regular Bing. Oops. Um, hope this process makes sense to you guys. Um, don't know how else I can explain it other than like if you look here my search term was search spelt incorrectly and so it's on the end had my search term been sloth scripts it will look like this and that's all that that's doing is it's adding on the variable of the search term to the end of the search um, okay so gotta go quickly because I'm almost out of time here in this video so we're gonna go to Bing image on the next one um, and that will equal to the Bing image, URL, Yahoo, yeah, he's got a crazy one, and um, we're going to paste this, and that will equal Yahoo in the case, and then finally we have Yahoo images, which is even more insane. Um, so we'll go Yahoo image and paste this in. We don't need this last block, but we're going to actually replace that with a default block. And the default, oops, D, oh, spelled correctly. Oh my god. Default will be return false and then break. And so we did it for each of our six possible sites. It switches through, it builds a URL. Last thing to do is return the URL for this function. Um, so just return URL. Um, that's all the time I have for this video, so just join me in the next part and 
we'll continue I'll explain this function over one time and continue making this function thanks for watching